guys and welcome to another edition of Mark and Marauder. So today we're going to be going and giving you an update on uh, Tronus Technologies. Uh, first things first, make sure you hit the subscribe button in the bottom for more updates and give this video a thumbs up and comment. So Tronus Technologies been crazy basically month and a half for this company. I've been following it for you know almost all of it but uh, I'm gonna go and give you all some updates on some of the press releases that are that are going on so basically they said that uh, meetings expected to clear remaining conditions for the hundred sixty five million dollar contract so you know you guys have been following and maybe if you haven't been following I'll uh, just give you an update uh, Toronto Technologies uh, is gonna be splitting off into two subsidiaries so it's gonna have uh, their water pilot, and then it's going to have Tarotus Fuels. Um, basically, that split off once it comes, they're going to give you um, five to one share. So you're going to have five shares of Tarotus Fuels for every one share of the water pilot that you own currently. Um, so they've been talking a while back about you know doing deals with Turkey. This basically is just clarifying that. You know, they're doing the remaining conditions for the $165 million contract. So, you know, it's been, you know, a back and forth thing. You know, some of uh, some of them, some people like it and, you know, see it's going to be moving forward. But it definitely has taken a long time um, to get this process finalized. Um, but hopefully, it, you know, it'll be finished and, you know, then we'll have more specific numbers on, you know, how many units uh, these uh, companies are getting and the actual numbers on the profits for the Tarotus Fuels. I think it'll be good to have some uh, actual numbers once these contracts are finalized and, you know, moving forward will give uh, investors more confidence in the Tarotus Fuels um, realm. So moving on. So this is uh, pretty major news. Uh, this came out today. It says... Uh, NASDAQ grants uh, Tyronis additional extension. Um, so, as previous announced, based on schedule presented, the company's NASDAQ listing hearing on June 27th, 2019. Uh, NASDAQ hearing panel granted the company's request for continued listing on NASDAQ capital market, provided the company affected a reverse stock split on or before August 22nd. The company demonstrated a closing bid price at or above a dollar per share for 20 consecutive business days by September 19th. So basically by September 19th, the stock has to be above a dollar, which I mean, it's at a dollar 73. So, you know, I believe it's going to stay there. I don't think it's going to be shorted that much anymore. Um, due to the delay uh, in obtaining a new CUSIP number. Uh, so basically, if you don't know what that is, that's the number that's assigned to every stock. Every stock has a CUSIP number. Um, so for the depository trust company, the company was not able to affect the reverse split until August 26. Notwithstanding, the NASDAQ hearing panel has afforded the company the company two additional business days through the stock through the September 23rd to dis demonstrate uh, 20 consecutive business days at or above a dollar. I truly believe that it will be above a dollar uh, for the 20 consecutive days. Uh, that's to the 23rd. Um, you know, basically a few few more weeks from now uh, will be the 23rd. We're already in September. So, uh, you know, I think that it's good that they, that they got the extension. And I think moving forward, it, uh, as they put more updates, you can see the uh, stock price climb. I think definitely, you know, if we get more numbers on what's going on with the, the turkey deals uh, and the meetings, and we get, you know, concrete numbers on the profit margins and how many units are being ordered, I think it'll give investors more confidence in, in buying more shares of the stock. And also more up-to-dates are more more updates on the water pilot and you know how it's moving forward I think uh, you know it's a pretty big um, 
undertaking that both of them are doing. You know, they've, they've expanded. You know, the Water Pilot has uh, the luxury building uh, contract. And then the Toronto's Fuels has the um, Turkey deals as well as the El Salvador deals as well. So, you know, they're both expanding. I think just uh, for the average investor, we just need more concrete numbers to show, hey, this is what the company's going to be going to be doing. Now, whether that comes out uh, during the the actual quarter, uh, the next quarter uh, earnings, or whether that comes out, you know, in a press release, uh, either or, I think it's going to help. Uh, the company show that they're profitable in the future. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button in the bottom uh, and make sure you like it. Uh, tune in for more updates on Toronto's Technologies and thanks for watching.